Here's how you can install Apple's AirPods beta and get cool new features like adaptive transparency mode. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And with iOS 17, Apple's releasing a new set of firmware for AirPods, AirPods Pro, and AirPods Max that will enable some cool new features. One of the biggest new features is adaptive transparency mode available on the second generation AirPods Pro. There are other new features as well, including the dropping from Hey to just Siri to invoke Apple's digital assistant, and there's also better switching between devices. There's a whole dedicated video to what's coming new to AirPods with the latest firmware update, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can update your AirPods to this beta firmware. Let's go ahead and kick things off. So here we are inside of my iPhone running iOS 17, and I'm gonna open up the settings application. And from here, you're gonna scroll down to privacy and security. From within privacy and security, run all the way to the bottom, and you're gonna see this option for developer mode. If you do not see developer mode, which you may not right away, you need to connect your iPhone to your computer using a lightning cable. I ran the latest version of Xcode, connected my iPhone in, and next time I looked into the settings application, developer mode showed up. So if you don't see it, try connecting it to your Mac and running Xcode. Now, from developer mode, we're gonna to toggle this on, and it's gonna have my phone reboot. Now that my phone has rebooted, we're gonna go ahead and log in. It's also gonna give me this alert right when I reboot my phone saying, do you wanna turn developer mode on? Confirm yes or no. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and turn on, enter my passcode. We're gonna hop back then into settings and we're gonna scroll down and instead of stopping at privacy and security, we're gonna keep going and all the way underneath TV provider, we have a new option for developer. This new menu has a bunch of developer tools, but we don't need any of them. We're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and there's an option for AirPods testing and you can install pre-release beta firmware. From here, I can see all the different AirPods that I have. So I wanna turn these on for my AirPods Pro, agree to some legalese. We're gonna turn them on for my second generations as well. You can see all the different ones, but again, this will support first and, gener first and second generation AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, and third generation AirPods, at least in the firmware that we are going to be demoing. But that's it, once this is toggled on, now next time I connect my AirPods to charge and they are within distance of my phone, you can open them up just to make sure they kind of connect to your phone, it'll install that beta firmware and then you can test new features like adaptive transparency mode. Hey, sorry to pop into you like that, but I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how you can save up to $1,200 in combined savings because Apple authorized reseller Adorama is giving exclusive discounts to the Apple Insider audience. Let's take a look at how to do it. All you need to do is find the Adorama deal that you want in the Apple Insider price guide. Links in the description. Copy the AP Insider code and click on the activate deal button to route to the products on adorama.com. Don't forget to add Apple Care if you're interested. The extended protection plan is discounted for many Apple products with the same AP Insider coupon code. Step three, during step three of the checkout, click the link that says, do you have a gift card or promo code? and hint, look for the gift icon. Step four, enter the AP Insider code and look for your order total to reflect a special coupon discount. Prices in the price guide reflect any instant rebates stacked with a coupon code. That's it, so easy to do. There are hundreds of Macs that are discounted and there's even some iPads, Apple Watches, and monitors too. Now, let's get back to our other video. The beta firmware is available for multiple devices, though not every feature will be available on every device. You'll be able to install this beta firmware on AirPods Pro, third generation AirPods, and the AirPods Max. This is a lot easier to do than in years past, but I really want to give you a warning. You should not do this unless you really understand the risks and consequences that come along with doing it. There are legitimate purposes for installing these betas, and it's great to test these features out ahead of release, but in doing so, you risk the bugs and other issues that come along with these beta updates. This is non-finalized firmware, and you may see things like drastically reduced battery life, problems with your AirPods connecting, and other issues along the way. So only install this update if you're fully aware of those risks and you're okay with those bad things happening if you install this update. Let me know if you guys do decide to give it a try. There's links for everything down below in the description. Let me know your thoughts on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video.